Today, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese was given the results of a six-month review into what Australia needs to defend itself after the past Liberal Labor governments dropped the ball. Now, Sir Angus Houston was uh, once head of our Defence Forces, handed that report to Albanese this afternoon and said it was the most important work he'd done. So this is the product of six months of work and um, I think it addresses all the terms of reference and uh, we're very pleased with that. And, Thank you. Uh, now, we're not going to see this report for a long time, the government's considering, but we can guess that it says we are in trouble. We don't have the equipment we need with a world closer to a world war than it's been for decades. But the whole West has been caught napping, particularly now with China threatening war. I mean, you just look at NATO, the European and Defence Alliance, uh, US Defence Alliance as well. They've just found that just when they try to help Ukraine, just help one country defend itself against Russia without doing the fighting themselves, that alone has left them running out of ammunition. Here's the NATO head yesterday. For example, the waiting time for large calibre ammunition has increased from 12 to 28 months. Orders placed today would only be delivered two and a half years later. How can NATO fight a world war when it's running out of ammunition just for Ukraine? And are we any better at all? We are in a very tricky position right now. Pray that we never find out if we waited too long the hard way. Now, that exact issue, by the way, is being asked right here on Sky News tomorrow night with a special documentary hosted by Peter Stefanovic. It's called Are We Ready for War? It'll screen tomorrow at 730 PM.